بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Hello my students and dear students and welcome to a new lesson of English Lesson number 7 And in th this lesson we will learn how to write But we will deal in this lesson with oral information And after the ending of this unit We can have some paragraphs about writing In this lesson, lesson number seven, we want to learn how to write a story. Let's do the first exercise, exercise number A. Discuss these pictures with a partner. Here we have three pictures. Picture number A, picture number B, And picture number C. How can we discuss these three pictures? By dealing with these three questions. The first one is What can you see? Number two, how did the person escape? And number three, why was it a lucky escape? Why was it a lucky escape? So here we will deal with these three questions with every picture. Let's do the first one, number A. Here we have a person. Yeah. What can you see? My dear students, what can you see in the first picture? Here we can see a man who is sitting on the sofa and he is reading the newspaper. And we can see the title Plane Crash. Plane Crash. How did the person escape? As you know, Salem escaped. Salem escaped from this crash. I mean, plane crash because he was not punctual. He didn't reach airport on time. When he was late, The plane took off, so he didn't, he couldn't follow the plane. After that, the plane crashed. Why was it a lucky escape? Why was it a lucky escape? He was lucky. And this story was lucky escape because if... He had followed the plane, he would be, he would be dead. Yeah. Now, let's move to the second picture, picture number B. Look at the picture, my students. We can see here a fire. Or we can see a home, apartment, let's say, house, which is burning. And a huge fire this took place inside this house. So what can you see? We can see a house which is burning. Number two. How did the person escape? This man. How could he escape? He escaped from the fire let's say when he threw himself from the second floor over the second story and finally he was survived he was alive he was not dead why was it a lucky escape because he is alive now he is survived from A big fire in this home. Number three, or C. Look at this picture. You can see a broken or crashed car and a man who is standing in front of it. 
what can you see here we can see this man who is standing in front of his car and his car is crashed so he had he maybe maybe he had an accident how did the person escape he threw himself through the window of the car he threw himself outside the window of his car let's say and why was it lucky escape because he survived now he is not dead so all of these pictures or in all of these pictures we have survived and lucky people number a and number b and finally number c all of them had good luck so they are lucky now after discussing and explaining the situation these three pictures number a b and c let's do something which is different Number D, write sentences to include in your story. Use your notes from exercise number C and the following prompts to help you. I will read it again. Write sentences to include in your story. Use your notes from exercise number C and the following prompts to help you. Number one, was going to, but. We will use this form with the first picture. Number one, he was, Sa uh, Salim was going to. Salim was going to reach the airport, but the airplane took off. He didn't follow it. Number B. A man was going to going to be burnt, but he could escape. He threw himself from the second floor, let's say. Number C. This man was going to be killed in a car accident. But he threw himself through the car window. Number two. We have to use if plus would have and past participle. Let's come back to the first picture. Yeah. If if Salem had followed the plan, he would have been killed. Number two, if the man had been at home, he would be burnt. He would have been burnt. Number three, the third picture. If this young man had stuck in his car, he would have been killed. Now. Now, number three, wish. The first person can say, I wish I hadn't followed my plan. The second person can say, I wish I hadn't been at home. And the third person can say, I wish 
I hadn't have this accident. Now, after dealing with these three situations, we have to make or we have to compose a story. And my students in this lesson, I don't like to write it down for you. So you have to try to write it yourselves. And after the finish of this unit, or after all, we can give you the compositions or the paragraphs of this book as a whole. And at this point, I can say to everybody of you, you can try writing yourselves. You can attempt writing depending on yourselves. So this is the most important advice I can give it to you to improve your English, to improve your writing. And finally, I have to say to everybody of you, goodbye. Don't waste your time at all because time is so precious. Time is gold. Finally and eventually, I want to thank all of you for being with me, for your patience, and goodbye. See you in the next or the following class. Goodbye.